Hello, Libra, and welcome to the channel. My name is Marv, and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Let's get started. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, hello to my members, you marvelous bunch of people. Let's get started. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective, whomever it may concern. Let's get it started. All right. So by now we have, um, we're going to be finishing up. Let me, before I get into that, um, the energy through the signs, I try to do this at the start of a new season. It really makes sense to check in on you before we focus so much energy on all of these other folks in your life and what may be happening outside of you. That is very important, you know, to me. Um, so, you know, to bring that to you. So we're going to be doing it. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But, you know, you should want to know what's going on with you. OK, so um, everything, again, that you need is below in the description box. We already went over um, this new moon. We're on a couple of days into this new moon in Aries It's go time. It is the start of an astrological year, um, despite the Gregorian calendar being one one. Despite the Chinese New Year, the start of the astrological year when Aries starts. Aries is our first zodiac. So we're starting it and here we go. All right. So when the new moon landed um, or when the sun slid into Aries, the new moon follows where the sun is. Uh, Libra, as you guys already know, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And this is affecting you in your seventh house. OK, um, interestingly enough. This is where a lot of you guys have been dealing with things that you've been dealing with anyway, because, you know, it kind of works out like that. You are a Libra. Venus um, is the ruler of the seventh house. So this could be as to no surprise to you. Um, you probably were already feeling it like myself as a Libra rising. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, this card that I've already taken the liberty of shuffling off camera uh, for you and your collective is the card of 44, which is woman holding a heart. Um, four is about stability. Uh, double fours. It could be that you are trying to balance work, work life balance. OK, um, it could be a lot of that. Two fours make an eight. Eight brings that energy of quick moving communication, um, because the first card that I thought of when I thought about the eight, a lot of the times I will give you the tarot card that pops up. In my head and I'm thinking eight of wands for you I'm gonna tell you how this played out for me at the strike of that new moon somebody reached out to me out the blue trying to help me and with this seventh house transit you may find that it may manifest for you Libra collective as you know old lovers or um, just people out of the blue wanting to help you how can I help Libra what does Libra need and you could be experiencing that Woman holding the heart is your energy. This is um, a female dealing with family, love, or emotions. Um, your heart is on your sleeve right now. Um, people are trying to reach out. This is on her shoulder, her like for her arm, not her shoulder, her arm. That's cute. I just noticed that. Um, anything dealing with love, emotions, um, with family. Family love or emotions, it could be what you're experiencing. I had an individual reach out to me out of the blue, and she um, just wanted to give me some, some tips on some things. It was very nice of her. She was definitely Team Marv. And you may find that right now. Aries is the opposite of your energy, uh, Libra. I don't know whether you guys know that, but that is the truth. Um, so if you are a Libra rising like myself, your descendant falls in Aries, and that's that. Um, if you have no Aries uh, that you know of, uh-oh, yep, that fell. That fell. So now that that came apart, let me show you. I should just take these cards. Look at this. This is all of them, basically. The star, king of pen. Yeah, I think I may just take them. That's interesting. Wow. That's top and bottom. That came right out for you. Right out. So there's definitely hope, healing, and optimism here. 
definitely hope, healing, and optimism. This Eight of Wands is letting me know. We're going to talk about that. That's the past. And we're going to get right into this. Um, anyway, she wanted to help me give me some pointers. Um, and it can be playing out like that for you guys. The first thing is hope, healing, and optimism. We got to get one more card. Actually, we'll just take this and we'll pull for the past. That We'll see what's at the bottom of the deck. That's fine. Um, this is letting me know that as it pertains to this woman holding a heart, there's a lot of hope, healing, and optimism in this situation. Um, that's a beautiful energy to get things going, to get things to a, you know, a, a situation where um, things are back in alignment with your heart, with your love, and things of that nature, okay? It has definitely been a struggle. This is you, you have been the wounded warrior here. And this could be in the past as well, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually pull since they all fell out, okay? Um, this lets me know that you, you, this has been the wounded, you have been the wounded warrior. You have, you have fought this battle, Libra, and you may be a little banged up, but you're going to hold your ground and you're going to stay put because you're protecting your heart. And I do see that it could relate to an individual who is a king of pentacles. For some of you guys, this could be the, a dad. This could be um, your partner holding that pentacle as a commitment. This could also be um, a supervisor. You have been feeling a certain type of way. And the bottom line is, is that now that, that, that the star is on your side and you fought this battle, now you're going to start to get that love back to you. What has been stagnant is now cut back on. The lights are on now. The sun is out. That's where we're at with this. And so this individual is coming through now. And now they want to offer this to you. You, you know, they, they, your, your, your just do is coming in, you know, because if you look at this, you've worked hard. You've worked very, very hard, very diligent. So in so some of you guys, you've worked hard in your job and now they owe you this money. They owe you a, 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 a um, what am I thinking? Raise bonus. You've worked hard in your relationships. You're owed the commitment. This person is going to offer you that pinnacle now, realizing that through the past, how hard you've worked, how hard and how much you've been a warrior. And now we got the star on your side. Do you understand um, if this just represents an opportunity and there is no relationship, then you bust your ass for it in, 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 in the past. A bumpy ride, just bruised up. You, you, you've worked very, very hard for this. OK. I'm going to put that down and then we're going to do a shuffle for the pass. N typically, I pull it from the bottom, but I'm going to shuffle. Show me something representing the past. We got two. There we go. So we know that this is a relationship. Let's put this back at the top and let's go. In the past. You thought you found your love. This is that person. You had a bond with this individual. Okay. So this is, th th and again, take these cups, apply it to something that you love, something that you love, that, that you love to do, something that makes you happy. If this is not a person, okay, apply it to your business. But now that, that the, those ships are coming in, okay. This represents the past. This nine of cups just means that this is what this is something that really excited you, got you off. Like, I don't want to sound like that, but I'm just saying it excited you. It made you happy. It did it for you. Some of us, we have those things. It just this, this, this was just it did it for you. And it could be obviously your happiness, your money. This obviously res resonates or illustrates a relationship. So for some of you, this is exactly what that is. All right. And again, this storyline definitely is the same. And now this person is coming back in. You're holding your heart. You're dealing with love. They're going to be coming back in from the past. I know you get tired of hearing that. But, you know, you have to you have to open up your mind enough to clarify. I mean, to um, apply it to different things in your life. Something's coming back around. It doesn't matter whether it's a love situation, whether it's a money situation, whether it's a career situation, 
the overall theme that you need to be getting out of this reading is that you bust your ass for something that made you happy. And now it's coming back around because this King of Pentacles represents somebody going to offer you a commitment. And, it, and, and isn't it lovely, Libra, that this new moon is in your seventh house? Doesn't that make sense? Somebody that wasn't feeling you in the past, something that wasn't favorable for you in the past is coming back around. And with the start of this Aries energy and the start of the new zodiac and astrological, astro astrological year, Aries gets it popping, ruled by Mars. So now everything that was stagnant is now coming to pass, okay? Your major arcana is the star. Hope, healing, and optimism. Always a good energy. Always a good energy when we are trying to um, ensure that we get what's, what, what, we, what we deserve, okay? Woman holding the heart is what you have here. I want to also let you know that the person that's going to be coming back to you could be another woman. That's fine. Or it just could be a male that is a little bit more sensitive, has more feminine um, energy in their chart. Does not mean that they're feminine acting. Just means that they're a little bit more sensitive. So you do the math. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Libra. It is always a pleasure. I have been bad at sharing your information on your channel. I am going to try very hard to do that. March has been a huge astrological, um, significantly astrological month. Um, and, and so it's been a very podcast heavy month because of that. Um, I've been having a lot to tell you. I also want to let you know that I did not do a podcast for um, Aquarius moving into Pluto, but it is something on my website. And I do tell you uh, where it's landed for you. I may decide to just go ahead and do that. I'm not sure, but I just am letting you know it's there for you if you want to take, um, if you want to read it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Libra. It is always a pleasure. Something's coming back around that you deserve, honey. Okay, okay, darlings. I'm letting you know. I'll see you in your next one. Bye, guys.